Alright, so, um, this is crazy. I literally cannot go to sleep. Um, it's like this channel started growing and I am getting freaking bombarded with messages. Um, <laughs> it's overwhelming. Uh, there's a lot of shit going on. I, I took a lot of, like, um, voice memos, which... Um, I can write everything down and come back later, but right now I'm just like super tapped in and it's crazy like I didn't even like remember this presence or ever think about it, but like there was this like Really like angelic feeling presence when I was a little probably around like two to six and the candles getting brighter around like two to six and um, I just like I always felt like someone was there I felt them for the first time tonight and it's like they came behind me and it felt like I was like being wrapped by like angel wings. It was like the most beautiful fucking thing, 111 on the clock. And then I came over here and I like, I like had someone's name and then the cards just came out and it was like, oh no, I'm gonna do some things but um, one of the channeled messages I got is like, you could be dealing with someone or could have been dealing with someone. This is so specific for like nine years. That's a truck driver. Um, something about like abundance and someone needs to do something in intervals. Like, I don't know if you have to do interval training or something, but um, this like it's gonna sound funny because I'm not sleeping right now, but besides me, like, there is someone that I was getting, they could be 52, 24, in age or 31, that isn't getting enough sleep, it doesn't, I, I have more numbers, but I didn't put them all down in 17, um, I'll just start pulling some stuff and doing a reading, because, like, whatever is meant to get out right now is supposed to get out, so I'm just gonna put it out, I cannot believe I'm doing this right now because it's very, very late. Shuffle all these in. Oh, another thing I got was like someone um, wants you to be like someone, and this might have to do like with the truck driver situation. Someone knows that you've been watching tarot readings, and it could be like someone you've been in a long relationship with, and they want you to stop because they don't want you to find something out. It's because you've been going to like multiple high priestess channels, like people that you find that like you're like, okay, three or three on the block, is this just a coincidence? No coincidences, let me tell you. Oh, you want to fucking bet? Okay, wait, listen to this. Okay, guys. On one of my old videos, I put something about something's going down at 7-Eleven. I'm pretty sure I put it in two videos. Guess what happened tonight by my friend's house at 7-Eleven? Someone got stabbed. A guy and a girl that were in a relationship, the girl stabbed the guy in the parking lot at 7-Eleven. Another channel messages I got um, over and over again. It was the song from Patsy Gone Crazy, but it would go to the candles going crazy, too. Okay, so it was like the song from Patsy Klein and like I love all her music but it was just this one part of the song I'm trying to go to sleep right now and it was just this part over and over and then I got flooded with shit but it was like something about that truck driver and then it was also like it switched and it was like I'm crazy and it was like I'm crazy about this girl or whatever and then it flashed to um the goddess of night or goddess of depression again and, like, this person could be, like, going out at night or sleeping with, like, women of the night, ladies of the night, whatever. And this person could be causing this person, person that, you know, a lot of depression. Okay. Cool. Yeah, and there's deceit. There's deceit in some situation. Yeah, but someone in love. Deceit situation to love. But, um, someone doesn't want you finding out stuff. I think one of the names I got too was like John. Um, and this person has been very bored in their life and they could do something where they're on their road a lot, but this person has been bored. And it's like, 
ravens could be significant to you, or like crows, um, red sneakers. Red dress, red rose. Um, someone's really in their head about the juggling they were doing. Yeah, this person was a knight of wands and a page of cups. So this person could be very creative and like very imaginative and they could see like anything is possible. They could really go after what they want. I see this person as like a go-getter, but also like immature in their ways. This person, um, what I'm getting is like they're all about money right now and they're like constantly defending that. Um, they could be constantly defending like this is my job, this is my job, I have to, ooh, I'm getting like taken over right now, 555 five, five on the vlog, this is, okay. Um, now this person could be like arguing with you like this is my job, etc. I need to go out and make money. They could make excuses and cause fights just so they can go out as a little player. Yeah, this person is stuck in devil energy. They have very toxic behaviors. They could have addictions, but what I'm getting is like, they're just living in this devil energy. I pulled the two of cups, right? Why did I put it back in? I didn't pull the two of cups. I felt the two of cups. Yeah, um, either you're going to walk away or you did walk away and you're going to continuously work on yourself, but it looks like when you walked away, there was someone else that's had their eye on you for a while that has seen you go through this relationship or whatever you're going through, and they've been coming in slowly as like this king of swords thinking logically about like how they're going to get to you. Yeah, and they're stuck in their head about this. I don't know who this, like, this random person is. <laughs> um, it's not the person in the toxic devil energy, but there is someone else watching me coming in. That's another thing I got was stalking. Um, something I have to say, like, if someone's in a lot of melancholy, and, um, they're going through the dark night of the soul right now, you know, that shit sucks. Um... It's not easy. Anything you're going to find online, like, for going through it, it's not easy. But, like, one thing I can promise you is, like, personally going through it myself. And, like, you, you can go through multiple dark nights of the soul you're going to throughout your life. But, um, it does get better. And, like, those clarity moments you want that you're, like, so confused and you're so trapped right now. And you're, like, I don't see the bigger picture. Like, I need the answer. I think it's this. But, like, what if it's that? Like, all these things. It's going to come to you soon what I'm getting is, like, it could be, like, within a matter of weeks, I've, like, the longest, but, like, over time, everything is just gonna become very clear. Yeah, and a tower moment's happening, or a tower moment is going to happen, or already happened. And a love situation over this lovers. Could be with a Leo. This person wants victory with you and they see you as very victorious. Yeah, this person wants to be your emperor or they could have Aries in their chart, but what I'm also getting is they see you as an emperor, like boss status, just like, mm, you know. This person could be from your childhood or you guys could have children together. I'm getting you could have children together. One could possibly be six. Or I'm getting 16 too. I'm getting sixes. But there's being judgment called to this deceit. So it is being taken care of from a higher power, from the divine. The judgment is being called towards this deceit. And you will be getting a message about it soon. You could be getting a message about money. But you're coming off very balanced and um as the temperance card don't like 
I have a very close relationship with God, but I may not be like the most religious person. I believe in multiple religions, but I'm hearing like John's 13 or 19. I don't even know if that's a freaking thing. So I'm sorry if like coming down on you, Lord, my God, I'm sorry. Oh, another thing. I've noticed this. Um, so many people look down to pray. Look up. Four of Wands. This person wants marriage and celebration with you. <sighs> Once again, I'm really getting like an emphasis on the ravens. Ravens could be very significant. I'm really getting that. Like if you start seeing like feathers around and stuff, the feathers are like signs that your angels are nearby. Um, I'm also getting spiders are significant in this reading as well. Spiders and converse. This this message came out in the other message. It's something about tattoos, converse, and roses. <sighs> Bottom line, regardless, like this is a very fruitful card. I I do sense love is coming your way, like a very great love, like this person that's been slowly coming in for a while that has their eye on you, like you, 11, 11 on the clock, could take this offer, but what I'm also getting is, like, you're just seriously getting blessed, like, whatever you've been working on, don't stop working on it, whether that's, like, eating patterns, getting your health right, like, friendships, relationships, like, business, career, anything you're focusing on, you're doing the right thing, and you need to know right now, this is your sign that you're on the right path, keep doing what you're doing, you will grow. Yeah, and you'll become a queen of pentacles. If you are not already, there's a lot of fighting over this queen of pentacles, though, who is being perceived as the empress as well. Someone's closing a cycle, cycle on all of that, though. Um, someone could definitely want to make a lot of money with you, but be careful of this person just messaging you out of deceit. They could, this could be someone from your past that you were in a relationship with or you guys were talking or dating or something but there's still a lot of deceit here this person is still stuck in double energy and this person needs to grow on their own and if they can't do that by themselves you need to cut them out period i'm sorry but bottom line if someone's not growing and they're holding you back and they're making you lose yourself you need to move on you have to think logically and embody that queen of swords like where are you at in your life are you at a crossroads right now are you hitting milestones like everything's gonna be okay everything will be okay just give your problems up above and literally just like yeah give your problems up above problems up above. Alright. Why does a paranormal normal shit happen in all my fucking videos? It's like, this bitch isn't kidding. But no, that stabbing shit was crazy. Like, that's crazy. I channeled that. I fucking channeled that. What I get is like someone's either been on their way to see you, they could already be watching you or stalking you, but I do get that there is someone stalking you. They could have Cancer or Taurus in their chart or Scorpio or Aries, but someone's definitely stalking you and I'm getting, um, there's a stalking going on for someone that's not just over social media, it's in person and you need to be careful. If your body is like telling you not to go out or like, oh, I have a bad feeling, I probably shouldn't go right away, don't overthink it, just don't do it.